So uh, 61 bills passed in six months, the Albanese government doing uh, pretty well, you'd have to say, but um, the proof is in the pudding as we head towards the next six months and forward. Well, Mr Albanese's honeymoon has continued longer than I thought. Um, of course, there are reality checks next year, particularly on energy, cost of living, but you've got to say that he's achieved his major objectives. The Industrial Relations Bill, although he's lost a lot of skin on the way through in regard to with business who feel ambushed, and it is a pro-union bill, obviously. Um, thankfully, there are a number of amendments to, to support small business, for, but for medium size and last large business. This is very dangerous. Then there was the Independent Commission Against Corruption. That was nicely uh, refined so that you could have private hearings before you have public. So all in all, uh, you've got to give the Albanese high marks for an activist and successful parliamentary session. So what do we anticipate moving forward? What are the next stages we need to look out for? The big one is undoubtedly energy cost of living and debt and, and budgetary repair, because there are a lot of demands on the public purse, particularly after those shocking floods and the infrastructure damage. So it can only get harder. That's an axiom of political life. Um, but you've, you've got to give Mr Albanese personally and his government credit. And it poses all sorts of issues and challenges for Peter Dutton, who's also doing very well, given the circumstances, and the Liberal Party. Who do they represent? Uh, what do they oppose? The voice is the big test for the Liberal Party coming up. All right. Now, just quickly, uh, this time tomorrow, the Socceroos, are they going to beat Argentina? Oh, that's unde <laughs> unquestionably. I've already plunged heavily. <laughs> they can do it, can't they? Of course. Lionel who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some hack from Argentina. Ah, exactly. Yeah. It's only his last game. Who yes. Socceroos. Thanks, Janie. <laughs> Thanks very much, Peter.